as you can see, we're at the Retro at home, and this place is just awesome. I was like, so excited to get home and work out here, especially deadlift, because you've got the bumper plates, you've got the platforms, everything's laid out. This own little room here, it's just perfect. So, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. Definitely some volume, especially since we've got the perfect setup plates. Take advantage of it. Let's see what we got. What's up guys, this is Gina again, coming with the second commentary, voiceover, whatever you would like to call it. This is just warm-ups with two plates on there, I believe they are 15s, I think. That was at two times speed. Now I, I know I have 145 pounds here, again, just kind of warming up. I really want to focus on my speed off the ground, so that's what I'm going to be working on the next few weeks. Because as you can tell, it's pretty slow right there, and then the lockout's not too bad. Now we're going to be getting into our working sets with 175 pounds total. So this will be the heaviest that I've gone so far in deadlift since I've been at Retro Fitness. As you can tell, the room that this is in, it's kind of off to the corner of the gym and I really really like it and they've got the workouts and motivational quotes and everything on the walls there and it's just a great setup you're kinda in your own world there and maybe that's why I got the great idea to do 10 signal single sorry 10 singles with 175 pounds I don't know I was feeling it so I just show you about five or six right here I didn't record all of them but I did do 10 singles with 175 this will be the last one I show you and I'll come back for some commentary all right what we just finished was 10 singles with 175 why 10 singles that's just what I was feeling love the set of forms and everything but we're gonna back it down to 80 actually a little bit more than 80 percent just with because of the plates that we have so we've got 145 and going to do five sets of five. So let's get it going. Hey, Loving it here. Also, Gaines is from the last set company. A link to them will be in the description box below. Go ahead and grab yourself one. Jumping in here real quick again, and then I'm just going to play the rest of the working sets at four times speed with some music. But I think this went pretty well. They're really slow reps. I kind of pause between a lot of them, except instead of just hitting the ground and then pulling it back up and like a touch and go but you know strength is getting there slowly and surely but enjoy the rest of this video and if you like it so far please leave it a like thank you guys Deadlifts are done. Got a lot of volume in, so I did warm ups, then 10 singles, and then a 5x5 five five to finish off. And now we're going to head over to one of my favorite finishers for legs the hip abduction and adduction. So, what I like to do is three sets on each, but no rest. So, I'll jump on one, set it at about 150 pounds, as many reps as I can. Off of there, go to the next one as many reps as I can. Off of that one, back to the first one as many reps as I can on that one. Off of that, back onto the other one as many reps as I can. Do that one more time, finish it. And it's just that bittersweetness. Hurts so bad, but feels so good because you know it's going to work. You wake up waddling the next day, but it's okay. So that's hip abduction and hip adduction. Doing that right now, really feeling the burn and the glutes and the hammies, everything. Feels great, highly recommend it. It's a great finisher. Hope you guys are enjoying this video and give it a like if you do. And keep killing your workouts. How is this lighting? 
I think it looks pretty good. I'm at home in Maryland right now. Got my coffee. I recorded this at home because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when I eat at home compared to when I'm at school because yes, you're going to have home cooked meals and maybe eating out a little bit more and make it work out like last night. Went out to eat with my mom. You can plan ahead. You can make smart decisions. It can happen. It can work. Just got to plan ahead. Be smart about it and you'll be all right. Hope you enjoy this video. I think it's going to be a pretty good one. Like I said before, fructose intolerance. So today I may be trying my first banana in like four months. I know that's hard to believe. But right now I'm going to sip on my coffee. Ah, so good. Make some breakfast and enjoy the rest of this video. What we're having for breakfast today was supposed to be about 65 grams of oats. But as you can see, I'm out of oats. So I only got about 40 grams. Which wasn't one that I wanted because I was feeling pretty hungry when I woke up. But... You gotta make do, so I had some plain rice cakes, grabbed two of those. Macros on there are great, and plus I don't have to worry about the sugar. You can see, using the vanilla protein powder from Prote Protogen, that is from the Platinum Series from Bodybuilding.com. I have used this before, but it's the first time I'm using it on camera for you guys. Just testing it out, and that way I can give you guys a good review. I recommend it, I really do. I, it is so good. It reminds me of Quest Protein, like their vanilla. And also it has the consistency and thickness when you mix it into something like oatmeal of Quest. So just think of that. I'll do an entire review on that coming up. But highly recommend it. So good. And with one scoop, you get 30 grams of protein. Decent amount of nutrients in just one scoop. I mean, 30 grams is pretty awesome, whereas most protein do get 20 grams of protein, maybe 25 if you're lucky. So with just one scoop, you get 30, and it's a pretty big tub. So go check that out for yourself if you are interested. Again, I do recommend it. And this is gonna do it for meal one, to some protein oats. One thing I love about being home is waking up early on the weekends, because today is Saturday, and me and my dad always watch Manchester United soccer. So any soccer fans out there watching this, Leave a comment below of teams that you like. Now with breakfast, I'm also going to be trying a banana. Now I say try because this will be the first fruit that I have since I found out I was fructose intolerant. And I've done my research and figured out that bananas aren't too bad when it comes to fructose. There are some fruits that are going to be higher than others. Now this is an old banana, but it's all that we have in the house. Um, I'm going to do half. Just because it has been so long since I've had a banana or anything fruit related really. So I'm going to do half, see how that goes down, monitor my stomach, and I'll let you guys know what I think. So about to head to the gym on a Saturday. Not too much going on this weekend, honestly. Just been hanging out at home and it's been good. So not too much to a vlog for this episode, but I'm not going to film this workout either. Just back and buys. Pretty sore actually from the deadlift, so I'm not sure much, how much of back stuff that I will get done. But I'm gonna sip on this pre workout. Honestly, it's so good. So, headed to the gym and I will see you guys later. Also, for the gym, we're up in the Wolf Pack Gym Apparel. Pretty nice. Love this shirt still. So, don't forget to go get your own. We'll see you guys later. So, done at the gym. It's 6 o'clock already. I'm going to have dinner at 7. So rather than go eat something and then have to eat something again in an hour, just going to have, if I can find it, yeah, the post protocol, so from the Platinum Series, Black Cherry. Yeah, so workout was pretty good. Just again, back and buys. I, I thought I was going to do less back work because I was pretty tired from Friday's deadlifts. Actually, once I got loosened up, that's good. Got loosened up and it like my back was on fire, like on a in a good way. So I actually did probably four back exercises and four bicep exercises. Felt great. Again, energy and retro fitness is really good. So happy with that. Now I know I probably haven't eaten that much today. Um, but some days are like that. Some days I'm very hungry. Some days I feel bloated. I'm not that hungry. You know, it still balances out because the di yesterday 
there's one scoop. Yesterday I was pretty hungry, so I ate like a decent amount, and last night I went out to eat. So two scoops of the protocol. So I'm just going to drink this on the way home. By the time I get home, it'll be close to 6.30 anyway. Thanks for watching this video. Yeah, stay tuned for the next meal. We are here at IHOP. It is Sunday, Valentine's Day. Here with my sister, so she's my Valentine today. We finally woke her up, and we are here for brunch. We're keeping it light because we are going to have a nice big family dinner, so keeping the carbs and the fats lower. I have a side of wheat toast. I'll probably just have one piece. And then we got their Tuscan sampler, I think. Substituted the whole egg for just egg whites, but it's got peppers, spinach, tomatoes, and side of hash browns. You can enjoy this, get a cup of coffee. And we'll see you guys in the next clip. Beer is Honestly, I hop, there was definitely more cheese than eggs for that omelet or whatever you want to call it. It wasn't the best, but I was hungry. I know you guys were probably expecting an all-you-can-eat pancake challenge, but I looked up online the nutrition for the pancakes and just did not fit. You know, my stomach would not have been happy sugar-wise. Obviously, you can't make it fit your macros. I was ex thinking about it, but I figured... Sorry for the major change in lighting, but camera died, and it's dark now, so using the light from my room instead of the light from the window, which has been in front of me. But that's going to about do it for the video. It cut off, and I was saying that I'd rather just take care of my body and do what's right for that than just do it for the bunch of views on YouTube. So that's why I did not do the pancake challenge, but hey, you never know. Maybe for the future, but that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and right now, as you're watching this, I'm probably... On my way back to Jersey, because it'll be Monday, so stay tuned for Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. for the next video. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Give it a like if you do. Leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already on the road to 500. So let's get there. Thank you guys for clicking on this video, and as always, have a great week. Thank you.